Greetings. Today, I'd like to share a few thoughts with you about parking in Paso Robles. Several years ago, our downtown businesses petitioned the city council for assistance with what they said was an economic crisis for our city, the impact of employees parking in downtown parking spaces. They said all day parking by employees was taking spaces which should be used by customers. These businesses wanted alternative parking for employees, and they were very clear that solution should not include the use of parking meters. The city of Paso Robles hired professionals to study downtown parking and conduct public workshops involving business people and other citizens. This resulted in the establishment of an employee-only parking system in various locations and the kiosk parking system for others. Handicapped citizens with appropriate placards can park free anywhere. All others get two hours of free parking each day and a charge of $1 per hour thereafter. A fine of $33 is assessed for those who ignore the kiosk system. The system was designed to be revenue neutral to pay for itself. If any additional funds were generated, they would be funneled back into downtown parking improvements. There was a one month grace period before the fines were imposed and likewise fines were not imposed during the pandemic. Today, parking has become a hot topic again, compounded by an overlying debate about discounted senior parking permits and the possibility of a parking structure. There is a downtown parking commission charged with making recommendations to the city council. In spite of the ongoing confusion, it seems obvious to me that we need to divide this complex problem into its basic components. First, employee parking. We must continue to provide and improve safe alternative parking for the people who make the downtown work. Second, parking enforcement. The meter made solution just doesn't work because some will do as they always have, move their cars after a couple of hours to avoid parking tickets, but still take up valuable parking. The city has heard the cries of no parking meters and has invested in a 21st century method of parking enforcement, which is convenient and equitable. Third, senior parking. All those who are handicapped, a senior or otherwise, have the ability to receive a placard which guarantees free parking anywhere. The question we must resolve is, does any group of able-bodied citizens require discounts on parking? Currently, the city has a plan in place to sell up to 500 discounted senior parking permits each year at $30 a piece. We'll see if that satisfies demand. Finally, a parking structure. Other cities use them. Why not pass a Robles? I've reached out to other cities to find out how they pay for these multi-million dollar structures. The most common answer, fees for parking on the street. To increase the number of parking spaces downtown by one third, it could cost between six and $10 million. Without higher street side parking rates to generate those funds, that cost would fall to the general population, which would probably require a bond issue. And that would mean higher property taxes for everyone. I'm committed to providing safe parking for downtown employees, enforcing parking in a fair and equitable way for all drivers and being financially responsible when it comes to the construction of a parking structure. By dividing this complex problem into its component parts, we will be more successful in finding reasonable, equitable solutions. This is Pastorable's Mayor Steve Martin reminding you to stay informed, stay involved, and stay strong, Pastorable's. We'll talk again soon.